please come up to the witness stand. You can bring water with you. The exhibits will be displayed for you. Please let us know if you can't see it. And councils, you should each be made a presenter when it's your turn. But if you haven't, please let Layla know. So just keeping time and what's our time? Check? Yeah, sure. Uh, petitioners at 4 minutes, 34 seconds. Respondents at 1 minute, 11 seconds. Thank you. Uh -huh. When you're ready. Your Honor, call uh, Lauren Owens. All right. Laura, how are you feeling? Um, nervous. Okay. Just breathe and we'll get through this really quick, okay? Um, Lori, we've talked about the timeline of events and I want to just really quickly run through. When did you first meet Mr. Eckerd? Um, May the 17th, I believe we connected on LinkedIn. Okay. Uh, and did it, you, were you intimate with him at some point? Yes. When was, what day was that? May 20th. At some point after you were intimate with him, did you test positive for pregnancy? Yes. Do you remember the first time that happened? Um, it was the evening of May 31st. Okay. After you tested positive the first time, did you do anything to confirm the pregnancy? Yes. What did you do? I went to Banner Health Urgent Care the next day, and I took a test there. Uh, uh, on June 1st? Yes. If you can look at the screen in front of you there, it's exhibit, it says Exhibit 2. That's actually the wrong number. Um, but that's a, a, a printout of the, um, the positive pregnancy test you received from Banner? Yes. On June 1st? Yes. Okay. And after you got the second positive test, what did you do? Um, I told Mr. Eckerd. All right. Did you go see him at some point to talk about it? Yes. What day was that? Uh, June 17th. Um, when you, and you went over to his house, I understand? Yes. When you showed up at his house, did he ask you to take a pregnancy test? He did. Did you know in advance that he was going to give you that test? I did not. Did you take the test in front of him? Yes, I did. Did he actually watch you pee on a stick? Yes, he did. What was the result of that? It was positive. Um, after you uh, had the third test that was positive with him, did he send you an email at some point to talk about the, uh, the situation? Yes. All right, looking at the screen in front of you, is this the email that Mr. Eckerd sent you on, it looks like June 21st? Yes. Um, the third paragraph down has some highlighted text, uh, and I'll just read it. Um, considering you only performed oral sex on me and no vaginal penetration occurred, the chances of you being pregnant seem considerably low. Although, again, maybe rubbing up against one another allowed a sperm to make its way inside you. It's a very low probability. Nevertheless, it is one. Uh, first of all, Clayton wrote that to you. Yes? Yes. And did you have conversations with him where he told you that he thought you were pregnant? Yes. Uh, is that verbal conversations or text or email or all three? Um, all three. Um, okay. Moving right along. After um, you got this email on, and I'll move to admit, Your Honor, uh, Petitioners Exhibit A2. Any objections? A2 is received. Um, after the email of June 21st, um, what happened next in terms of uh, your proceeding to verify the pregnancy? Um, I took additional tests. Um, did you have a sonogram done in California? Yes, I did. Um, and where was that done? Planned Parenthood. And you understand, and I'm sure Mr. Woodnick will ask you about this, um, Planned Parenthood has not been able to verify that you were ever seen there. Do you understand that? Yes. Can you explain that? Yes. I went under a fake name when I went there. Okay. Um, and you had a sonogram done. Did you ever present that sonogram as evidence in any court proceeding anywhere? No. We have obviously presented it in this case. But you, uh, you've admitted already that you changed the name at the top or the location. Did you, did you change the name at the top of the sonogram? Uh, the location, yes. Why did you do that? I changed it because Mr. Eckerd was being threatening towards me, and I didn't want him to know where I had gone and try to track down my providers. Okay. Um, after the Planned Parenthood sonogram, do you remember approximately what date that was? I know you signed a declaration, I think it said July 2nd, and then there may be a, a conflict. Do you remember what date that was? That you um, it was actually the end of June. Okay. Did you, were you in California both weekends? Is that the, what the confusion was? Yes. All right. After the uh, sonogram in California, uh, around July 23rd, did something happen um, in terms of you passing tissue or anything like that? Yes. Can you explain briefly what happened on July 23rd? Yeah. Um, I wasn't having any symptoms at all, but I did pass um, tissue that um, looked like it could have potentially been a miscarriage. I'm not sure if you're going to pull that up or if I was looking for something. I'll, no. I'll, wait, I'll wait till Okay, then. yeah. Um, it looked like it could potentially be miscarriage tissue, but I, I wasn't sure. Did you seek any medical care after July 23rd, after the tissue passed? Yes. Related to that? Yes. What did you do? Um, I texted a, a hotline for um, pregnancy and miscarriage questions, and I also did an appointment with a telemedicine doctor as well. Okay, and what did they tell you? Video I'm visit. I'm sorry, what did they tell you? Um, they, on hold on one second. Overruled. Go ahead. That, oh, that means to go ahead. Okay. okay. Um, uh, what was the question? What did they tell me? Yeah. What, what information did they give you, if any? Um, they told me that I needed to monitor myself, um, but that they felt like unless I had more symptoms, I didn't need to worry that it was a, a miscarriage. Okay. And after July 23rd, did you take any other pregnancy tests um, shortly after that date? Yes, I did. What date? Um, I believe the 27th and then also August 1st before I filed this case. Okay. So the day that you filed, before you filed this case, how many pregnancy tests did you have? Uh, five. So you had one on uh, May 31st, you had one on June 1st at Banner, you had another one on June 17th with Clayton, uh, you took one 
I have my notes say July 25th, but I think you testified maybe a little day or two differently. Um, August 1st also. So five positive tests before you filed this case. Yes. Did you have any any negative tests before you filed this case? Uh, no. Um, Laura, Clayton has argued. Let me let me go back to the night of May 20th. Um, you have in your deposition you said that Clayton actually had sexual intercourse with you. Do you recall that? Yes. And was that true? Yes. Um, did you tell him that night that you did not want to have sex? Yes. And did he honor that request? No. Laura, you've heard Clayton argue at various places in this case that you were trying to trap him in some way by what happened here. Can you explain, if you were trying to trap him, why did you tell him that you didn't want to have sex? Objection leading. I wasn't trying to trap him. Hold on one second. Sorry. Sustain. Okay. Um, but you never, that first night with Clayton, you never said to him, let's let's do it all night long or anything like that. No. Objection leading. Sustain. Did you, did you tell Clayton that you wanted to have sex that night? No. Okay. Um, Laura, let's switch uh, very quickly. Actually, let's go back to our timeline. Um, after you filed the case on August 1, um, did you do anything in terms of DNA testing to verify, again, verify the pregnancy and verify that Clayton was the father? Yes. What did you do to verify that? Um, we took a test. Well, I paid for a test in August at RavGen, which was the lab that he chose um, to conduct the test. And I paid for it, and he did not schedule his part of the test. So uh, according to my notes, August 15th uh, was, was the RavGen initial booking for $725 you paid. Is that accurate? Yes. Leading. What day did you initially book the RavGen test for? August 15th. And what did you pay for it? $725. Okay. And why didn't that test go forward? Or did it go forward? Uh, Clayton did not schedule his part of the test. Okay. So you had to cancel? Yes. Did you eventually successfully complete the testing? Yes. What, were the out what was the result of that? It was inconclusive, little to no fetal DNA. Okay. Do you remember when that result came back? Um, I believe we took the test September 28th, so shortly thereafter. All right. After the RavGen results came back, did you have any further pregnancy tests? Yes. Uh, do you remember the date, uh, when and where that happened? Yeah, um, it was October the 16th, I believe, um, and it was at any lab test now. And was that a quantitative test? Was it, did it involve a blood draw? It was a blood draw, I guess. And do you remember the results of that test? It still showed that I was pregnant. Okay. At some point, did you eventually learn that you were no longer pregnant? Yes. What date did that happen? Um, November 15th, I believe. And was that go to a facility called MomDoc? Yes. And did you take, how many, did they give you a pregnancy test then? Yes. More than one test? Um, they just gave me one test. And, and the results were both negative? Uh, yes. After um, you learned that you were no longer pregnant November 14th, did you file anything further in this case? No. Did you, what was your intent? Uh, if we, we go back to the um, any lab test now, October 16th, you filed a request for mediation two days after that, correct? Correct. What was your intent in doing that? I wanted to dismiss the case. I wanted to go over the test results. Did you know, did you know how to dismiss the case? No. So you were, you were making an effort to let Clayton know that you weren't, you, you thought the pregnancy was probably ending badly and you wanted to drop the case. Objection mm -hmm. leading. Thing. All right. Um, Laura, let's, let's switch topics briefly. Um, Clayton lied. Did Clayton ever lie to you about real estate contracts? Yes. Can you briefly explain what happened with that? Yeah. Um, I first met him as a realtor and I um, had him make two offers on two different properties um, on the same day and found out he never submitted those offers, but when, I signed them. When were the offers submitted? May 24th. And when did you find out that, that, they, that Clayton didn't send them to the, to the seller? May 25th, because they were only good for 24 hours. So he lied to you and said that he had sent offers in that he didn't? Correct. Objection, argumentative, and objection, relevance. Goes Overruled. To, go ahead. Uh, correct. Um, did, at some point, did you file a complaint against Clayton with the real estate board? Yes, I did. Did you receive a response from the board regarding your complaint? Yes. What was that response? They found him in professional violation of a couple of things, but I can't remember what they were. Laura, that issue with the real estate contracts happened before you tested positive for pregnancy, if I'm understanding the timeline correctly. Is that right? Yes. Um, did you ever learn why Clayton did not submit those offers or why he said he didn't? Um, he said I didn't because he said I wasn't, I had no intention of purchasing real estate. Were you, did you have an intention of purchasing real estate? Yes. Uh, did you wind up purchasing real estate? Yes. Um, let's talk about proof of pregnancy again. Um, so did you take a photo of the test that you took on May 31st? Uh, yes, I did. All right. Um, I think, Patrick, if you, you saw that. Yeah, you saw that yeah I saw the exhibit. So attached to this email are a couple of photos here. One, one's right there, um, day 11, it says. Is, that, is this a photograph that you took? Yes, day 11 is one I took. And I believe the one above is one Clayton took. Oh, okay. So, so the one that says day 11 is a photo that you took. And you sent that to Clayton at or around that time? Yes. And then the one above that is um, it says day 21 and it also appears to show positive and that's uh, the test that Clayton gave you yes and he sent that picture back to you uh yeah he took it right after the test at his place all right and the test that you took at Banner and the results that you received there on June 1st um did you send that to Clayton yes and that's exhibit it's our exhibit a1 and I'll move to admit that one as well your honor any objection no objection to a1 your honor a1 proceed okay Laura did you do regarding the Banner test the day 11 test or the day 21 test those three tests did you do anything at all to tamper with the results of those tests? No. Did you take any drugs, hormones, or any substance at all to, to affect the outcome? No. Did you use someone else's urine to change the outcome? No. Um, 
Laura, in Clayton's deposition, um, this exact issue came up about him uh, giving you the test and wanting you to take it in front of him. And he testified, I'll just, I'll just read uh, from his deposition. Uh, yeah, I wanted to make sure she didn't bring anything into the bathroom, but she couldn't pee right in front of me because she said she had stage fright. So I closed the door so she would, uh, so she would be able to pee. Is that deposition testimony truthful? I did have stage fright. He was right. I did tell him that, but I did pee in front of him because he insisted that I did that. Okay. And when he sent you the email on July 19th, two days after, I'm sorry, uh, June 19th, two days after you went to his house and took that third test in front of him, did he say anything at all about the fact that you closed the door and couldn't pee in front of him? No. Okay. Um, and Clayton, he obviously saw the first pregnancy test that you took. He saw the second one that you took, or the results of it anyway, uh, and the third one that you took in front of him. Um, if we go back to um, exhibit A2, at the end of this email, Clayton says, uh, at the very top of the page, he says, I say all this, and, and the, in the email, he talks about the fact he thought you might be on some uh, medication that affected the results, I guess. Um, but he says, uh, at the top paragraph, he's Sarah, I'm going to object. He's reading information off of screen. There's a potential piece of evidence that hasn't been admitted. Uh, he's giving quite a narrative. That has been admitted. If you had two, it's been received. If you look in the top left-hand corner, if there's a green sticker, that means it's been received. I if it's brown, it means it was declined. Go ahead, counsel. Laura, the question I have for you regarding the first paragraph at the top of the page there, um, Clayton wrote, or the email says, this is why it's important for us to do the paternity test because there's no question that if it comes back positive, it is mine. Did Clayton ever tell you or, that he wanted you to have a paternity test done? Yes. Did he ever say to you that if you didn't file this case that he would? Yes. How many times? Um, I don't know how many times. A bunch of times. Um, at some point before you filed this case, did you hire a lawyer to help you? Yes. And who was that? Bonnie Platter. And she never appeared in any case for you, is my understanding. Is that right? She, yeah, she never appeared. Okay, but what did you have her do uh, with regard to uh, Clayton and, and the pregnancy issue? I wanted to prevent filing a case publicly in court um, for both of our sakes. I didn't want it to be public and thought that we could um, come up with a parenting plan if, in fact, the pregnancy was Clayton's. I thought we could come up with it um, on our own without having to involve the court. Okay, so you, before you filed this case, you made an effort to work with him to get the test done privately without the court being involved. Yes, and I, I hired the attorney. I said I would pay for it. Did he hire anyone? No. Yeah. To your knowledge? Um, Laura, let's move forward to look at exhibit um, A3, which, um, have you ever seen this before? Um, yes. You, can you tell us what it is? Um, this is the, uh, this is a message in my patient portal for, um, I'm part of a domestic violence brain injury program in, uh, at Barrow, and this is a conversation with my uh, doctor there. Okay. Did you send this email? It looks like it's an email dated June, June 28th um, from you to a doctor, Glynis uh, Zeman, Z-I-E-M-A-N. Did you write that email? Yes. Your Honor, I move to admit um, exhibit, whatever that is. No objection, Your Honor. Thank you. Please uh, receive. Uh, Laura, in this email at the very top there, you write to Dr. Zeman that you went to Planned Parenthood while in California, uh, and you said they did a scan there, uh, was confirmed that you were pregnant, uh, and that they saw they saw a sack. Does that refresh your recollection about the date that you went to see Planned Parenthood? Yes. And is the statement that you made to Dr. Zeman truthful? Yes. Did you, when you wrote that, did you know that anyone would ever see that in the light of day other than you and Dr. Zeman? Nope. I had no idea. Okay. Um, okay. Can you explain why you changed the name uh, at the top of the sonogram that we talked about before from Planned Parenthood? I think, I don't know if you answered that before. Yeah, um, I just didn't want Clayton to know where I had gone to get the, the sonogram because he had been intimidating before. Um, if the court can help me switch from my exhibit to Clayton. Sure, if you scroll down to where, yep, yeah, that, exactly. Now go all the way to the bottom. There should be an R. Keep going I, if you're yeah, able to. Stop there. Uh, I don't see that. It's right. Oh, right. It's tiny. I'm blind. I'm blind. Yeah. There it is. Yep. And then the yep. Got it. And we're going to go. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I want to see Clayton's exhibit, though. Yeah, you're going to scroll all the way down. Ah, respondents. Gotcha. 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 Okay, Laura, looking at uh, respondents exhibit 31. I don't know why that doesn't match. Uh, this, no, that's not it either. These are not the same as. So uh, what you want to do is, it may not be the exhibit numbers that the attorneys labeled it as being. Those are the court uh -huh. designations. I'm looking, so, for, I'm looking for his exhibit 31. All right. So if you look for his exhibit 31, that does show that it is exhibit 31. Exhibit 31 on, on his exhibit list is listed petitioner faking ultrasound. Ah, I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize it was a video. There we go. That's what I wanted to see right there. Laura, um, exhibit, Clayton's Exhibit 31 is a, um, appears to be an email from you to Clayton. It says, ultrasound video proof. Clayton, here is my 100 billion percent real, real ultrasound video. Do you recognize that? Um, it's not an email that I sent, but I've seen it since. Okay. Well, you answered my question. 
Do you know what, first of all, what that, what this exhibit shows? Do you know what it shows? Um, I do now. Um, Laura, did you, if this, assuming that what we're looking at here is, is meant to be an email from you, did you send this to Clayton? I did not. Did you ever send Clayton an email with a ultrasound video attached to it? I did not. Do you have any idea why Clayton would think that you sent him an email like this? Well, yeah, it has my signature on it. Well, that's a fair statement. Um, but you didn't send this. Do you know who did? I have sus my suspicions, but I can't be. No, let's hear it. I'd like to hear it. Um, I have a suspicion that an ex of mine sent this to Clayton. Who? Which ex? Greg Gillespie. Is he in the courtroom today? Yes. Okay. Why do you think Greg, Greg Gillespie sent this? Um, because Greg has hacked my email before and has admitted to hacking other people's emails. Okay. So you're, you're obviously under oath, under penalty of perjury. You did not send that email and you don't know who did. Correct. Okay. Um, let's talk about going back to our exhibit A5. Got it. Whoops. Um, so can you tell us what exhibit A5 is? Do you recognize this? Yes. Um, is this a receipt uh, that, well, it's an email, but does this reflect the uh, RAV gem that you talked about before? Yes. Okay. And that was August 15th that you made that payment? Yes. Um, and then later on here at the bottom, um, you indicate, uh, let's see here, Friday, this appears to be an email from you Friday, August 18th. Did you write that email? Yes. You send that to, well, it looks like to Clayton and also CC Ravgen? Yes. And it states here that, unfortunately, Clayton has refused to take the prenatal paternity test. Is that accurate? Yes. And is that the reason why the test didn't happen in mid-August? Yes. Okay, Your Honor, I move to admit Exhibit A5. Any objection? No objection, Your Honor. A5 is received. Okay. Um, let's look at uh, Clayton's Exhibit 9. Hopefully, there we go. Um, Laura, do you recognize this exhibit, Exhibit 9? Um, yes. Uh, this appears to be an email from you to Clayton dated October 14th, 2023. Um, and this is an email that you sent him? Yes. All right. In this email, you, first of all, you're, you're saying uh, some reference to a sonogram video, and you said it matches up with the still video that Dave sent me. I assume that we're talking about Dave Neal. Yes. Um, and you told him this was not my ultrasound. I stand by that 100%. Um, did, did Dave Neal ever... Did, did Dave, well, first of all, who's Dave Neal? Dave Neal is a content creator. And at some point, did Dave send you a sonogram video and ask if it was yours? Yes. What did you say to him? I said it was not mine. Did you ever have a sonogram video of any kind with Clayton? No. Did you ever send a sonogram video to anyone um, claiming that it showed the pregnancy with Clayton? Uh, no. Um, if we go down to the second paragraph, Laura, um, I'm going to see if I can highlight here. Um, and again, this is Utah. I can't highlight. Um, the second sentence in the second paragraph, uh, I'll read it. I think you were very, very high that night, and you forgot that when you were on top of me, top of you on the cat on your couch, you were begging me to let you put it in for 30 seconds, then 25, then 20, 15, 10, and I said no each time. Then I thought you were just fingering me, but you stuck it in briefly. First of all, you wrote those words to Clayton, right? Yes. And um, were those words accurate? Yes. That what happened that night on, on May 20th? Yes. Um, when you sent this email to Clayton, did he ever respond back to you and deny that that's what happened? No. Let's talk now about the last positive test that you took. Um, let me see here. It says exhibit A9, but that's not it. Um, the, you went to any lab test now at some point, is that correct? Uh, yes, I did. And, and um, wh when did that happen? On October 16th, I believe. Okay. Why? Again, these, these aren't matching up. Did we're, are we on? Yeah, we're on here. That's why. Okay. I need new glasses. There it is. Okay. Um, so, Laura, looking at Exhibit A9, do you recognize what this is? Yes. What is it? Um, it's the results from the test I took at any lab test now. And um, is it your understanding that that result, it says 102 age, um, is it your understanding that you were testing pregnant at uh, still in October, mid-October 2023? Yes. Production misstates evidence. Overruled. Can um, be addressed in cross-examination. So, um, did you, again, did you do anything at all to tamper with this test, take any drugs, inject yourself with anything at all that, to affect this? Uh, no, I did not. And this was a blood draw that came out of your arm? Yes. Did you, did you supply them the, the blood yourself, or did a phlebo phlebotomist take it out of your arm? A phlebotomist took it. Okay. Um, so two days after this is when you filed the request for mediation, I think, in this case, right? And, yes. And after that date, you filed nothing further. But this was two days two days prior to when I filed for mediation. Did, did you pretty much understand that when you got this test that that was probably not going to be a viable pregnancy? That it was probably not, yeah. But I still saw that it said anything over four was pregnant, so. Um, Your Honor, I move to admit Exhibit A9. No objection, Your Honor. A9 is received. Uh, <laughs> and A11 is going to be. Can you can you tell us if you recognize what this is? Um, the record's from MomDoc. Okay, and this is a, an OBGYN facility that you visited? Yes. And according to um, the date here, it says uh, November 14th, 2023. Is that accurate? Yes. And so this is when you went in and had a test done that came back negative, correct? Yes. Um, okay. Uh, move to admit A11 if we have No any. objection. A11 is received. All right. Um, Laura, let's look at um, Exhibit A6. Can you tell us what Exhibit A6 is? 
Um, yes, that's me um, showing my pregnant stomach. And when did you create that video? Do you know? Um, September the 19th. Okay. Um, did we, let me see here. Your Honor, I'll move to admit A6. No objection, Your Honor. A6, you proceed. Uh, and let's look, look at A7. Um, it's a similar video. Did you did you take this video yourself? Or look at it. You're obviously not yeah. holding the camera. But, well, you put it on the yeah, stand. Yeah, I put it on the stand, yeah. Uh, you took this video. Do you remember the date of this? Um, October the 9th. Okay. I don't know if it even showed anything there, but it's real short. Okay. Laura, between May 20th and November 14th, we've established November 14th, you were no longer pregnant. Did you experience any pregnancy symptoms? Yes. Can you explain what those symptoms were? Yeah, I had very bad morning sickness and nausea and um, my breasts were very tender. Do you remember how much you weighed um, when you went to see mom doc? I believe it was 121. Mm -hmm. or, I'm sorry, no, not mom doc. I thought you were meaning in, in May. I was 133 at, at mom doc. I'm sorry about that. So around the time that this was taken, your weight was 133. What do you weigh today? Um, 91 pounds. Will you stand up and show the court and everyone what you look like now compared to the picture behind you? Can you turn? Can you come out from behind the screen there? And just just do a little turn for us. Um, Laura, you, that's enough. Thanks. Um, for the last time, were you pregnant with Clayton? Yes. Did you think that you were pregnant with Clayton? Yes. Do you have any reason to think that you weren't when you filed this case? No. Did you lie about being pregnant with Clayton? No. No further questions, Your Honor. Okay, counsel, you've used 29 minutes.